Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm just coming off of a live with Sarah Ayler and Softflex where I made some earrings, and um, I wanted to make the pair, um, I only made one of each, for you today in the video in case you missed the live. Um, so I'll show you what earrings we're gonna be making. Here is one. I just stink and love it. <laughs> it's like a little giraffe at the top. Giraffes and elephants are my two favorite animals. And here is the other that I made today. And I just love how they look like little artisan earrings. So I'm gonna show you how I made them. Um, for this first one, this is a tiara cast piece and it's like a little chandelier piece. I also used some 22 gauge wire from Softlex. This was not in the kit. And the kit was their Safari kit. I think they have a few left, but not too many in case you're interested. And I'll leave a link to their, their uh, website below. So I'm just gonna take one of these glass beads. Sorry, my hands are so dry. This is what happens in the summer out here. And I am gonna do a wire wrap loop at the top. I'm gonna close that. You can use your fingers or you can use your pliers. I'm just using my fingers. It's not the smoothest wrap, but um, it'll do. I'm just gonna take my pliers, hold that and then pull around that last piece. There we go. And just snip. And then I am gonna take this bead and do a wire wrap loop on either side of that with my 22 gauge wire. And here is some, so I'm just gonna just gonna do a loop. I did not do an unboxing for this box. I just didn't have time. Um, and uh, I knew I was gonna be doing a live with them, so I thought it would be fun to just kind of jump in on the live. Today has been, or I'm sorry, this week has just been particularly awful. We all heard uh, the horrible news about Wendy Whitman passing away, and it's just been a really rough week. So. Um, condolences goes out to her family um, to her husband Chris and her her sons and um, daughter and granddaughter and just every one of you who who loved Wendy as well um, I'm gonna miss her so much she was one of my friends outside of YouTube and we would just text each other all the time and I'm just gonna miss her a lot I already miss her I already miss her a lot I'm just going to connect those. And then I'm going to make my third piece. There's and I have enough wire left over and I'm just going to wire wrap onto that piece we just made before closing this one. Close that up. Put on this little spacer and then a crystal. And then I will, I'm not gonna do a wire wrap loop here. I'm just gonna put my wire through the middle of the, uh, the middle hole in the tiara cast finding. Pull it and then come back down through and wrap around the wire here above the crystal just a couple times you can tuck that wire in Okay, so there is our focal part of our dangle here. Isn't that pretty? And then on either side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna show you one of the pieces. So I'm gonna take, again, another piece of my 22 gauge wire. I'm 
gonna put it through this saucer. Then I'm gonna wire wrap that like I would a donut. Come up around like that. And take my shorter piece around my longer piece. Just do a couple wraps. There we go, it's a little wonky, I'm sorry. There we go. It's totally fine. You're not going to see how wonky that is once I cover it up. So I'm going to go ahead and snip in the back. And I'm going to do a wire wrap loop at the top. Roll that down. And there we go. Beautiful. I love that. Just a fun way to change up the orientation of your bead. Um, and these are, this is from a Jesse James beads mix. All of these are except for the uh, long horse eye shape beads. Um, and then I am going to take another piece of my 22 gauge wire gonna do a wire wrap loop wire wrap onto my little donut and wire wrap that closed as you see I'm totally in it for the messy wraps today it's a messy wrap kind of day and then i am going to take uh, one of these spacers again and one of these um, cathedral beads uh, i don't know if you've seen this in the last few videos but i always pinch my fingers in my new house and that's what that stripe is on my finger we'll come to the end hole on the component slide those beads down and then we'll wrap around like we did the first time. If you want to do um, a loop before you come through the component, that's totally fine. It's just not necessary in this design because we're doing messy wraps. We're going organic today. And then snip off the extra. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side right here. Okay, so we have most of the uh, earring finished. And then I have this little tiny ceramic giraffe. It's so cute. And I'm going to take another piece of our 22 gauge wire. And this is from Softflex. Um, and we're just going to wire wrap him onto that component. I'm going to put through, I'm going to come through my component, pull up, just like we did with that donut or the little saucer bead. And I'm just gonna wrap around a couple times. And then I'm gonna slide it on my little giraffe. I'm gonna turn him the other way. Although, you know, whatever way you wire wrap him on is fine. And then um, I am going to do a wire wrap loop at the top. that just a little bit more so we can get that tail in the back there we go we have a nice soft flex ear wire I, I was telling Sarah 
you know, this looks like what the kit was made for me. The colors, the content, the animals, it was just so stinking cute. And of course, I'll include pictures of these at the end, but aren't those adorable? It makes me sad that I only wear my um, studs. <laughs> Maybe one day a year I'll wear dangly earrings, but I just love these, they're so beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna move on. I I did this technique in um, a recent video for Sam Speedbox, but I wanted to do it on a live to show you, you know, you could do it with different colors, um, but we're gonna need some 18 gauge wire and some 24 gauge wire. I'm using these little three millimeter fire polished beads. I was telling Sarah, you know, I'm not really a tiny bead person and anytime I can make tiny beads bigger, I'm gonna take that opportunity. This one was a little bit longer than the ones I made in my other video and that was just by accident. I just ended up making it longer. So I'm gonna try and make the matching piece um, I know I'm really close here, uh, as long as the one I made for the other elephant earring. So I'm going to go ahead and do a loop. This is 18 gauge. It's very tough to move with your fingers. Um, if you can't do that, do not feel bad. Use your pliers, use less, uh, a smaller gauge, like 20 gauge if you need to. And I'm just moving this down the wire until I can't anymore and I'm just gonna snip that off and then I am gonna do another loop on the other end and then wire wrap towards itself I just kind of want to make sure I know how long I need it to be because the this one ended up being a little too long and I want to make sure that I don't make this one too short all right so then I'm just going to do a wire wrap loop, wrap down towards, I did the loop in the wrong, the weird, uh, not the wrong direction, but I never do my loops in that direction. So it's a little, it's a little awkward for me. It's like trying to do, if you're right-handed, trying to do something left-handed when you do it in the wrong direction. Oh gosh, see my pliers are in the wrong way. Here we go. Okay. I'm just going to wire wrap that down towards the other end. And I marred my wire a little bit because I was pinching a little too hard. So just be aware that that can happen. And we're just going to keep going towards the other end. Does not matter how you're filling up that space, it's, whether it's tight coils or chunky coils. <laughs> And the reason why they're not the same is because like I just said, this is very awkward because I did the loop in the opposite direction that I'm used to doing them. But you know, we go with the flow around here. We don't try to make too much of a fuss. When I don't like something, I take it apart. You know that, but this is not that important because we're going to end up hiding all of this wire. Anyway, it's just to get the bones of our connector. I'm just going to, Go back the other way until I'm out of wire. So you're gonna get something that looks kind of messy like that. If you want this on your piece, go ahead and do it, but that's not what I'm doing. And this one's longer. <laughs> do you see how much longer? I know I just snorted, but do you just see how much longer? I'm gonna redo that because that is gonna upset me. But like, I'll just put this one aside and use it for something in the future. That's totally fine. I could use this for a pendant in the future. Okay, this one is perfect. Um, it was just about the exact same size as the other one. I'm just gonna take some 24 gauge wire and use about two feet. I'm gonna cut that off my spool. And I am going to attach that to my piece by just wire wrapping a couple times around. And I'm gonna just cut off right there. And then I'm gonna load on a bunch of my little green beads. And I don't even care if, if they're just the same amount of green beads as I had on the other piece. I'm just gonna load on what feels right. And yes, these are really, really dark green. They are not black. They're like a really dark green metallic. I don't know if you can tell that, but they make me happy as does this whole kit. I didn't even get to show you like my favorite beads in the kit I didn't get to use, which are these beautiful 
turbines, check glass turbines. They're so gorgeous. They have that satin, um, silky uh, look. So that's enough for right now. I'm, I can always add more if I need to. And I am gonna go ahead and start by putting another wrap in and then I'm gonna hold a bead in place with my finger and then wrap again and then place another bead And then keep wrapping and then I'm just gonna do that randomly until all the beads the size I want it to be um, and doesn't have any noticeable gaps um, of course it's not gonna be completely wrapped with beads but um, you'll know how you you want it to look I mean if you wanted to you just do five beads or four beads or whatever but I want it to be a little bit more chunky Oh, FYI, I'm going to Tucson tomorrow to two bead shows. The fall bead shows are here. So if you would like some haul videos from that, let me know. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but let me know if there's anything specific you want to see or know about the bead shows while I'm down there. Because so I do read your comments. I can't, most of the time I can't get to um, a specific reply to all comments, but I try and like or heart them. Um, if I can I mean I, I really try but sometimes I might miss one if I have and you really need a question or something ask me again I'd be happy to see a second comment all right so wrapping around I'm seeing okay maybe right here has a, a bald spot <laughs> a bead bald spot so I'm gonna go ahead and hold that in place wrap a couple times and then I see right here it has a bead bald spot. So I never thought I, those words would come out in the same sentence, come out of my mouth in the same sentence before, but we all know Brittany has some weird sayings. All right, so I want another piece right here. That's all I had on my, my um, wire but I think I want like at least two more pieces Ooh, this is not looking very done up over here so I'm gonna move my wire that direction by wrapping I'll wrap a couple times around there just to kind of hide that other gauge and then pop that in the place I'd like it and keep going have a giveaway coming up it's not this video because I haven't had a chance to film what I'm giving away but it will be coming soon because the channel hit 18,000 the funny thing is a lot more people subscribed right after I hit 18,000 so I mean if it keeps going in that direction we'll hit 19,000 but I really want to get a, a giveaway out I did do one in my bead group and I'll be announcing the winners of that right probably tonight um, so if you're not part of my bead group on Facebook which is Brittany's beads please join because we do fun stuff over there um, I'm more likely to post something there than I would just on a, a YouTube post and uh, you know you get to see other people's wonderful creations I'm gonna go ahead and take the tail and start tucking it through some of the gaps to anchor it so it doesn't come unraveled over time I mean it would take a lot to unravel this but you know it could happen <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap it again and then I'm gonna stick it through come through and then stick it through these pieces and I think we're good to go I'm just going to snip 
And that guy's down in there. Look how stinking cute. It's just such a wonderful artisan piece. It's so different from the ones I even did the earlier in the week. Um, or last week, honestly, it all time runs together these days. I'm going to take my little cute check elephant. So cute. And I am going to do a wire wrapped loop. And before I close that loop, I move that down a little bit. And then I'm going to get that through my little connector here. And I'm going to go ahead and wire wrap that. I'm going to take my pliers and get in there because it's a little tricky with this guy in the way. It's just such a fun set of artisan earrings. I just, I just love them. They make me so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you're looking for something to use up some beads, spice up your wire, or just focus on, draw the focus down to a focal bead, I think that's a really great way to do it. Um, and then we have our beautiful chandelier earrings. So there we go. I did kind of do a bonus earring, but I don't have an ear wire here for it. Um, I took the um, ceramic bead that was in the Jesse James beads kit that was in or the Jesse James beads mix that was in this kit. And I changed the typical, what you, I would think is the typical orientation of these two beads and turned them on their sides and made a dangle. And I'll show you how I did that really quickly. Just going to grab one of these. I'm going to see if I can find my other here and then one of these guys um, I have the soft flex that came in the kit which is bone color and I need to find um, my crimps because soft flex includes crimps all right so I'm gonna take my little ceramic bead move it down to the middle I just cut maybe 12 inches and then I'm gonna come in through both sides of this bead just like I did just like it did with the other one I'm gonna pull that tight and it shows that it's not quite parallel so that's okay I just have to finagle and keep that tight because what will happen is if you let it go it's just gonna end up going wonky again it's okay you're probably gonna have to finagle it a couple times and then I'm gonna put both pieces through my little spacer and put that on top And then I will take a crimp. I'm going to go through again with both pieces. I'm going to move that little piece down again, trying to center it. There we go. Move down my crimp, and then I'm going to take one of my legs 
from my wire, it doesn't matter which, and pull that down back through my crimp. So I have uh, created a loop We go and that'll be the loop that we would put um, an earring wire through I'm just gonna pull that till it's a little bit smaller Ooh. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my crimping pliers and squish, turn 90 degrees and squish again. And then I'm gonna trim my wires. And there we go. So I don't have an extra pair of ear wires, but you can definitely imagine what they'd look like. You wanna make sure that you're um, wire is turned the right way there we go and I I love them you can also use this as a component like in a bracelet you can use this as a connector you can keep coming through um, the other side and do build on to it if you like but I just think they're cute little little bobbles I'll probably use them as dangles on something I'm just gonna throw them in my bead room and one day you'll see them on something Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for Softflex. I had so much fun today. Um, let me know what you think. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Thank you, Judy.